Hey, what's up guys? This is Intimidation. Uh, I'm out today hiking and uh, this is going up this trail here and I haven't been to this part of the of the area and uh, I thought I'd, I thought I'd check it out to see what's going on and, and what uh, what this area is is like kind of like a classic kind of rolling hills kind of oak trees lots of grasses typical of California like in the foothills and I just if you go back the other direction it turns into kind of uh, you know you, you see like white pines and a little bit more rugged territory with you know a lot more rock and uh, this is just another you know, uh, environmental niche um, that's a little different. Out this direction, I've seen more messer species um, than I would back the other way. Um, and this is just a few minutes of hiking away from each other. So, as you can see, there's different niches that uh, that ant species like to be in. Like messer prefer prefer this open grassy area, and so do pogonum myrmex. Pogonum myrmex I've seen in both areas. Um, but uh, yeah, it's it's really it's really quite beautiful actually right now. Um, the oak trees are just getting their leaves, and it, they're really fresh and green. And um, there's still wildflowers everywhere, as you can see. I'll just hike up here a bit and uh, show you guys on this little thin trail. And uh, yeah, see it opens up into a valley, and in the distance is Mount Diablo. Um, yeah, this is this is pretty pretty much close to where I live, guys. Um, it's about a oh, I'd say a 10-minute drive from my house, and then you just hike up into the hills, and uh, it's got all this to to kind of adventure in. So, I've uh, I was gonna take a look at some oak trees, kind of maybe you know um, pull off some some dead uh, branches to see if I can find any arboreal species. Um, I have before, but that was in China Camp when I camped there. That's all the way on the other side of the bay. So. Um, but yeah, let's, uh, I'll get back to you guys if I find anything. Intimidation, over and out. Hey, welcome back. Uh, I just went up the trail a few paces and it opened up into this kind of open area you see here. It's actually quite large, I'll show you. So, it's, it's just the grass is gone and there's a large open dirt area and what you see in front of me here is a Messer andrei species um, that has a nest, and their nests are quite obvious. I, I mean, um, if you were to, you know, if you were hiking and you came across this nest, there would be an obvious clear area around it. You know, there, and as you can see, there's there's quite a bit of, of dirt removal, and uh, there's a there's usually plants growing right out of the out of the nest hole. Um, I've seen this quite a few times, and uh, some, you know, usually they do clear that away. Uh, I know Pogonomirmex does it. They, when they w awake in the spring, they they cut away all the new growth that's outside their nest, so they can clear it away. Um, but uh, apparently, they have not. Uh, this is a pretty big species. Um, I'll get in closer in a second, but uh, these. Uh, Messers seem to be a little bit more numerous uh, when it comes to nest population than Pogona Myrmex, even though they share the same environmental niche and they are pretty much the same size. The only difference is, uh, well obviously these are black and Pogona Myrmex are red. Um, but these guys are not as aggressive as Pogona Myrmex. They don't sting. They will bite you. They will defend themselves. But. Uh, <laughs> These guys are these guys are really quite popular. I've seen, I mean, uh, quite you know they're everywhere. They're pretty common. Um, I've never seen a mating flight of this species though, and uh, I don't know when they fly. I've always been trying to figure that out. It's springtime right now, and I've I've never seen uh, I've never seen wing elates in their colonies. Uh, I've never, yeah, they just seem to be. Million. I mean, it. It. it li when you see them together, it looks like just this writhing pile of black, shiny, gasters just doing work. You know, and you. <laughs> and uh, I've never seen. I've never seen a mating flight. So uh, I don't know. But uh, maybe. Maybe they do it later um, than than most species in the valley. Um, I'm not certain. But uh, well, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna take a closer look at these guys. Um, one second. 